Ingram, and I'm a New York-based choreographer. I first started dancing um, as a student at the Greensboro Ballet in Greensboro, North Carolina, and then I trained at North Carolina School of the Arts. So there was definitely that idea that, um, you know, I, I wanted to have a career in dance, but transitioning to choreography was really something I never thought about until after I graduated. spurred the transition from dance to choreography was that I was dancing in the second company of North Carolina Dance Theater. And there were only six of us and not a lot of rep at the time. And so I went into the studio and started making a solo on myself in the same time that they were in rehearsal. I just remember going into new rep and having a really hard time like picking up something that was extremely contemporary or really improvisation um, heavy. And that was like the first moment that I realized there was this whole other realm of movement, of ways you can move your body, ways you can teach someone to move. Um, so I think that was, once that realization happened, it was just about honing in on what that natural quality is in me, it is in my own physicality, like what feels good. I always felt like I could feel what might be coming next and so I think that comes out a lot in my own movement aesthetic, this sort of transition through one place to arrive somewhere else, but it's all, you know, spiraling I guess in a sense. Like I'm constantly like how can I be better, how can I like do more, do something that's gonna, you know, have more an effect either on my life or like on you know, those people that are surrounding me. Um, so there's always, like, I think a different channel. The main focus is my own company, which has been around a little over a year, but really is starting and having a much more um, cohesive season this year. We just had a program at the Joyce. We're doing uh, something in Steps in September, a uh, studio showing in November, and then trying to do another full evening in February. So anytime you work with a dancer, you hope that you change them and that they change you. That, and that's how I like to work, because it's, I get so much from the people that I work with, and um, allowing both dancer and choreographer to also be people you know, that have lives and have other ambitions or have bad days and, you know, how can we, if, can we communicate about those, like, personal needs, I guess. Um, that's sort of the mission of having the company now. It's very different now because I think there's been this explosion in the past couple of years of choreographers kind of working on a smaller scale, but still with more classical dancers and dancers leaving the tradition of like a classical ballet company and kind of going out and doing project-based work. So it's really nice to see that, but it was definitely not that way when I first came up here. You know, that's always a challenge is the fundraising and the attendance and, you know, there is a very small, close-knit community, but it could be a huge community. I just think there's not enough people maybe that are engaged um, in a wider audience. What's funny, like, for inspiration, because everyone's like, do you go to museums? And yes, I do all that stuff, but my favorite thing to do is, like, things that have nothing to do with dance and even art in general. I have a roof and I have a garden up there. I grow plants in my garden, <laughs> and I love that. It, it is nice to do something that just, you know, you're really disconnected to. Like, I took piano lessons for a while. Um, that obviously has more to do with dance, but like being a, a beginner at something, I think, is really good. I mean, I was horrible at it, and it was just really humbling to sit there and be reading from the beginners like three-year-old piano book and just like, you know, I am just starting from the beginning.
My advice is always to, even if you don't have festivals you can apply for, companies that are commissioning you, commissioning you is to just start creating either on yourself or with people you know and cataloging that. I think when I first started, there was a lot of work that I didn't consider work. That I just thought, oh well that's like a sketch for this piece that'll happen later on, or it's just an idea I had, and like the more you move forward in your career and the more commissions you get, you get to a point where you're like, oh, I wish I had some of those like ideas, those original, you know, what were those? What was that me before I started editing me version? Get in the studio before you have any context of what your work means and choreograph it, keep it, save it, because there, there is going to be a point where you want to look back on the things you were doing when you first started. Really enjoying being in this moment that I'm in now and hoping that it continues to um, develop. But I'm also aware that something could happen to me tomorrow and you know, your life changes, so.